requests for my favorite beauty tips, so I thought I'd do a video and share them with you today. My first tip is that if you want to lighten fresh acne marks, or even freckles, beauty marks, just squeeze some fresh lemon onto your fingertips and just dab it on the spot. Now if you have darker skin, that might not be a good idea because you could get a halo around there. So instead, you can try using milk or yogurt on your entire face. That way it kind of brightens and lightens the whole area, but it's not gonna make your face white or anything. It'll just uh, lighten up the spots you want and just kind of brighten the rest of your complexion. My second tip is probably my favorite. In order to prevent blackheads and dry skin, all you have to do is drink a lot of water. And I'm talking about half a gallon to a gallon, which is about two to four liters every day. It might sound like a lot, but once you see that you're replacing all of the soda and the coffee and everything else with just water, you'll see how easy it is to drink just water. And it just really keeps your skin hydrated and it really does wonders for preventing blackheads and even getting rid of them. My third tip is really important and that is using filtered water. And tap water is not all that it's chalked up to be. You don't want to bathe in or drink chlorinated water. Uh, chlorine is known to be a skin irritant and also an irritant to the lungs. They've been kind of attributing chlorine to even asthma. So just avoid the whole thing altogether and get yourself a really good quality sink filter um, and shower filter. And if you can afford it, get a whole home unit that way everything is filtered in your entire house. My favorite brand is Environmental Water Systems because they have the highest medical grade filters available. All the children's hospitals and high-end hotels and spas and stuff use them. And everything's made in the United States. And you'll notice a huge difference in your skin and your hair. So, tip number four. Use a lotion mask every night. That is something that I just recently started doing maybe about two weeks ago and Holy smokes. I love it. It's the it's one of the best things that you could do for your skin. It really plumps up your skin and it prevents dryness and wrinkles. It's incredible. I got the idea from the Japanese skincare revolution and you can do it a few times a week if you have the time, but it only takes about five minutes total to do the whole thing, so it's not that bad. Tip five, emergency pimple treatment. This is probably really important, especially when you wake up in the morning if you find that you have like a big pimple somewhere, you want to get rid of it fast. What I do is I use tea tree oil, 100% tea tree oil. Mine comes from Desert Essence and I just put a Q-tip in there and dab it straight on. I kind of just hold it on for like a second or two and I do that every few hours. And then at night I apply vitamin E oil and it's just vitamin E, it's not nothing else added to it, but it's this really thick goopy liquid. Mine comes from Jason and I put the vitamin E oil on at night, probably about an hour or so before bed, just to kind of let it soak in a little because it'll probably rub off on your pillowcase. And it's not going to stain or anything, and I use silk pillowcases and it hasn't stained them. But if you're worried about it, then you can always put a towel over your um, pillowcase. Tip 6 is a fun one. It feels really luxurious. All you need is a little bit of champagne and a cotton ball, and it is a really quick way to get a glow, even out your skin tone, shrink up your pores, it makes an awesome toner. And it's just champagne. It's got a lot of anti-aging properties and it really soaks into the skin. I use it after I wash my face. If you have a puffy face and you wake up and you're like, then try using dandelion tea for yourself. Dandelion is a natural diuretic, which means it's going to help pull the water out of your system. So if you ate too much salt or you're near your period or whatever, just try drinking some dandelion tea in the morning. And then go do the Tanaka face massage, which um, videos are in my upload section. Try that. It's a really quick three minute massage and it really gets your lymph moving and it'll drain all the excess fluid from your face so you won't walk around like a little marshmallow. <laughs> Tip 8. You can prevent pimples with glycolic acid, but you don't have to actually go out and buy glycolic acid. All you need is sugar, because a lot of times they derive glycolic acid from sugar cane. So a really simple thing is just to add sugar cane to your regular cleanser or make your own scrub. And I actually have a really easy scrub recipe. Only three ingredients and it's on my blog. You just exfoliate your skin with the sugar and it not only does it physically exfoliate but it also chemically exfoliates kinda like how yogurt does where yogurt has no rough particles but it still exfoliates the dead skin cells. It's a great way to prevent pimples and keep your skin nice and smooth and, and dewy looking. 
use baking soda to whiten your teeth. It's really cheap. It's like two bucks for a big bag of it. I just put a little on my toothbrush and brush away. It might take a little bit longer than say, you know, Crest white strips or whatever, but it's all natural. You're not going to hurt yourself with it. You can add xylitol powder to it if you want, um, just for a little extra anti-cavity action, and it also will make it taste better, because uh, xylitol is sweet and baking soda tastes like crap. If you want a really quick faux glow, if you will, just the look of really dewy skin, all you need to do is take a few drops of jojoba, coconut, or olive oil on your fingertips, and then just put it on your cheekbones right here on the highlight, and then on your um, brow bone right here. You don't want to put it on your nose or your cupid's bow where you would normally put like a shimmer highlight because it'll make you look oily. But all you need is like one or two drops. You just put it there and it just adds a really nice, fresh, dewy look to your skin. Sleep on a silk pillowcase. Silk pillowcases will make a huge difference in when you wake up, you're not going to have like a massive bedhead and um, your skin's not going to be all ruffled up and dry from sleeping on a rough pillowcase at night. So I've been using the silk pillowcase for about seven years and I love it. Um, my hair's a lot healthier for it. I have really fine hair so um, thick hair does not run my family at all and you know that can break really easily so sleeping on silk is going to be really helpful especially people with fine hair. Take a vitamin C supplement. Now if you eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables you should be fine in the vitamin C department but it can never really hurt to have too much. They have found that there's no toxicity level with vitamin C so it's really helpful for healing, it's really helpful for anti-inflammation and keeping your skin nice and smooth and of course it's a type of antioxidant so it will help to keep your skin youthful as well. My favorite vitamin C supplement is from Health Force Nutritionals. It's their vitamin C powder and it comes from acerola cherry. So it's a whole food supplement and uh, it's not synthetic. Try supplementing with fish oil. I use Carlson Labs liquid fish oil with the lemon flavor and I take about two teaspoons a day with meals and it really helps to keep your skin so smooth and I feel that it also helps to regulate hormones a bit because Prostaglandins are a type of fat that helps to regulate hormones, so the more omega-3s you take in, or if your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio is ideal, then you're not going to break out as much. And I actually talk about that more on my blog if you want more information on that, because I think that's a real key to getting rid of acne. You can also try krill oil, and you can try vegetarian oil from Flora. If you really want to have clear skin, then I definitely recommend eating at least one cup of dark leafy greens every day. And not necessarily in a salad, but you can steam them, you can blend them up in a fruit smoothie, just throw a handful of romaine leaves in with a fruit smoothie, you won't even taste it, but you'll get the added benefit. And if you have a juicer, you can juice the greens, but just a cup of greens at minimum a day and it'll really, really help. And of course, if you're eating a bunch of junk food stuff, the cup of greens, I don't know how much that's going to help, but it's definitely like skin insurance. It's really helpful for keeping your skin nice and clear. Uh, so spinach, kale, collard greens, broccoli, asparagus, as long as it's green, dark green, <laughs> you can pretty much eat it. Another tip is a really easy way to keep acne away and that is to avoid eating sugar. You can use it on your skin to prevent blemishes but once you eat it, it can actually be a huge cause of acne. So it really raises your blood sugar, it, it increases your insulin response and that leads to inflammation of your skin which is acne. So try to avoid refined sugar for a while and see if that helps you. There's a lot of alternatives to refined sugar, like raw, unfiltered honey, which has an actual, which has a lower glycemic index than the processed honey that you see in the, like the teddy bears. That is heated honey and it's really high in the glycemic, but the raw stuff isn't, so it's a really good choice. Uh, another one is xylitol, and another is stevia. So I hope you enjoyed those tips, and let me know if any of them were helpful to you. If you have any tips of your own, any video requests or article requests, feel free to leave me a comment below or on my blog and let me know. I'll see you guys soon.